Regardless of if you're a fan of anime, animation as a whole, or just quality storytelling, Kyoto Animation is a name you've probably heard at least once in your life. They have a long and storied history in animation, and I'm sure a lot of you have personal bonds and memories stretching back just as far. Whether it be your Haruhi, Lucky Star, or Clannad, Kyoto Animation was responsible for being Mini's gateway into the world of anime. And it's not an understatement to say that they touched millions upon millions of lives with their heartwarming stories and ultimately taught messages that changed a lot of people for the better. In contrast to those people, you have me, just one guy who happened to get into anime six or seven years ago, and who only started following seasonal stuff three years after that. I don't have the same history with Kyoto animation that a lot of other people do. I've never seen Haruhi, I've never seen Lucky Star, I only just recently sat down to watch Clannad. Call me a fake fan, call me uncultured, call me whatever you want, but it doesn't change the fact that Kyoto Animation still changed my life. The first series I ever sat down to watch from KyoAni was a show in 2015 about a girl who joined her school's band club. And watching this character, this girl who couldn't care less about her future or the things that she was investing time into, it reminded me of myself, and watching her develop into someone who becomes determined to actively shape her own future and is willing to put in all of the hard work necessary to achieve her goals. It's sappy to say, but it changed me. It changed the way I looked at my own life, and I realized that the only way you're going to get to where you want to go is by making that effort yourself. That series is named Sound Euphonium and it is now in my top three anime of all time. Shortly after Sound Euphonium season two finished airing, I began hearing lots of discussion and chatter about a movie called A Silent Voice. It was being hyped up as this ultra emotional tearjerker that left everyone in shambles, and me being the cynical 2017 anime fan that I was, I found it pretty hard to believe. The hype consumed the movie, and I went in expecting it to just be another mediocre, emotionally manipulative movie that cares more about forcing you to cry than actually caring about its story. Well, in the middle of 2017, in May, at 2 in the morning, I found an opportunity to finally sit down and watch A Silent Voice. And not only did I break down crying three times throughout, but after finishing, it would become my favorite anime film of all time, and it's still my favorite to this day. What I expected to be this overly sad and depressing story that basically just begged the audience to cry actually turned out to be this incredible and uplifting tale about redemption. How our past mistakes don't define who we are, how it's okay to let people close to you and share your insecurities, and that if there's a heart and willingness to change, you can make your life better. Kyoto Animation has been spreading these positive messages since the beginning of their existence. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid taught the values of family, that everyone has a home or place to call their own. Tomiko Market showed that you can make your life happy and fulfilling every day, even in the most mundane situations, just by having the energy and will to do so. Violet Evergarden showed that we can discover and learn about ourselves through the interactions we have with others. However, the series whose lessons I think we can learn from the most right now are Clannad and Clannad After Story. This is a story that stretches over both series, and a recurring theme in the show is one of loss, losing family, losing friends, and having to live with the reality that they're gone. It's something that connects everyone because all of us have or will have to go through that one day. And speaking personally, it's not easy. You get so used to having someone or something around that when you lose it and it's that important to you, you don't know what to do with yourself. But in Clannad, there's always this underlying message about hope. Being able to move forward, to not let your grief control your life, and to find value in other things even when suffering from a loss. It's not that it's saying it's bad to grieve or that mourning someone is a waste of time, but that you can't spend your life dwelling on things that are gone. Yesterday, around morning time in Japan, 
Kyoto Animation Studio One suffered an arson attack. 33 people died and another 35 are injured. Kyoto Animation as a whole studio totals around 160 employees. That means nearly half of their entire studio was caught in this incident, as well as the entire location where they perform 3D and compositing for their shows. This is one of the biggest post-war incidents to ever occur in Japan, and it is by far the most horrifying experience to ever happen in the anime community. This is a loss for everyone? And Kyoto Animation will never be the same again. This is the time for mourning, this is the time for grieving, but it's also the time to be decisive and move forward in supporting them any way we can. I am linking a GoFundMe in the description that was launched by Sentai Filmworks in the hopes of raising money to help Kyoto Animation recover quicker than they would otherwise. This is an official GoFundMe by a partner and distributor of Kyoto Animation's works, so you can trust them. Another way you can support Kyoto Animation right now is by buying digital images from their online store. Because it's digital, because it's online, they don't have to ship anything, and your money goes directly to them. I have a link to a Twitter post that describes how you can order from their store, even if you're international, in the description as well. In less than 24 hours, as a community, we have raised over $1 million to support Kyoto Animation, and I hope that number continues increasing and increasing, because it's time that we as fans give back to the studio who's brought us so many life-changing experiences. Kyoto Animation has always been the standard of what an animation studio should be. They consistently put out some of the highest quality animation that you can find in the entire medium, they tell beautiful stories that have shaped millions of lives for the better, and they are one of the only studios in Japan who actually strive for ethical working conditions for their employees. The animation industry would not be the same without them, and this incident will never be forgotten. Instead of focusing on this tragedy, however, I would like to ask you guys a favor. In the comments, write what your fondest memories of Kyoto Animation are. What are your favorite series from them? Who are your favorite characters? Anything we can say that celebrates the joy that this studio has brought us, and will continue bringing us, when they're back on their feet.